Let's get to the prayer, you guys. Let's do it. Amen. All right. Amen. Nothing to it but to do it. Amen. Um, All right, you kick it off, Govinda, and then I right. chime in, and then you come in for the finish as usual. All righty. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Well, Father God, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Um, thank you, Father, for the chance to come before you in Jesus' name this day, this 20th, Lord God, of February, Father, this uh, this time, Lord, that has been set aside to petition your throne, Lord. My brother, Zeph, and my sister, Trish, and I, and our brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world um, that are listening in right now, Father, we come before you as your children. Lord, you've said that we can come before, boldly come before the throne of grace. And so we, we come before you boldly, Lord, as your children, those that know you, those that have been called by your name. Father, to, um, first, Father, to thank you. Thank you that you have, have brought us um, to yourself, Lord, that you've quickened us by uh, Jesus Christ, our Savior, that you have, have made the way, Lord God, for us to know you, to know your voice, and to listen, Lord God, to the, the promptings of your Holy Spirit, and to be your ambassadors in the earth at such a time as this. And we are grateful for that. We're grateful for the experience of this life, Lord, to, to see and to know you and to understand, Father, your plan and purpose. And Lord, even as we are experiencing things in this life and in this world, World, Father, we report back to you. Father, as your children, we report back to you, and we bring things to your notice, Father. You pray, you taught us to pray, Lord, your kingdom come, and your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, we, as we are praying and as we're seeking your kingdom, Father, and the coming of your kingdom, and uh, your truth, Lord, in the earth, Lord, we report back to you, and we, we proclaim things that need to be resolved, that need to be addressed, Lord, that need to be um, dealt with by yes. <clears throat> the highest one of all, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Yes. Father, you are the king. Lord, what you say goes. Lord, there is no uh, higher authority in the universe than you. There is no one whose say on the matter can be overturned. When you speak, Lord, it is done. Lord, when you say it is done, Father, when you decree, Lord, it is resolved and it is over and it happens, Lord. And so, Lord, despite all the plans and the shenanigans of man, despite all the intentions of people all over the world and all of their own thinking, Father, the, the, Lord, the fool says in his heart there is no God. Lord, those that, that, that try to resolve themselves against you do so to their own destruction, their own hurt, their own peril. Right now, Father, we bring this before you, Lord. The issue of human trafficking, of modern day slavery. Lord, we bring it before you, Father, because it is in direct opposition to your kingdom, to your truth, to what it is that you came into this world to do. Lord Jesus, you said, I came that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, Lord. And the issue of human trafficking in the world, modern day slavery, has done everything that it can to take away life and to take away freedom and to take away and to go in exact opposition to you and to your kingdom and to your throne and to your intention for humanity, Lord, for your creation, Father. And Lord, we bring that to your attention, Father, because this is in direct opposition to your kingdom. This is in direct opposition to your word. This is in direct opposition to your truth. And Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, we speak in Jesus' name as your representatives in the earth. Lord, we proclaim, Father, that that which is in direct opposition will bow, will break, will fall, will be crushed, will crumble in, in respect, Father, to the truth. Lord, we pray, Father, that your light of truth would shine, Lord, in this time, that your light of truth, Father, would continue to go forward, Father, stronger and more powerful each and every day. Father, we pray, Lord, you see and you know, Lord, we pray that you would expose all of it, all of it, Father. All of it would be brought out, brought to the surface, Lord, that, that no one would be able to hide. Father, that all of it would be exposed for what it is, Lord. I pray, Father, and we pray right now, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, that each and every form of human trafficking in this world, whether it's the sex trafficking, the labor trafficking, the organ trafficking, the child soldiers, the the um, illegal migration, Lord, the, the uh, all the different ways that, that it is, the organ harvesting, the, the babies, Lord, that are stolen. And Father, all of these different things that are there, Lord, we pray that each and every form of human trafficking would be exposed for what it is. Father, I pray and we pray in Jesus' name that every hand that is involved all the way from... <clears throat> 
the low level workers all the way up to the people that make decisions in line with demonic powers and demonic entities that are pushing them to do these things that all of them would be exposed that all of it would be exposed for what it is lord that all of it lord in jesus name would be revealed lord that their shame lord would stick to them that they would not be able to hide that they would not be able to spin it off that they would not be able to blame these things on other people that they would not be but it would just be known Lord, and that there would be consequence, Father. Lord, you are not just love, Father. You are also judgment. And Lord, you, um, you bring judgment. You are the just judge, Lord. No one can eliminate you. No one can move you from that judgment seat. No one can remove you from that place. And Lord, when you speak and when you decree judgment, it is carried out. And so, Lord, we pray, Father. Lord, even as we ask for you to intervene, Lord, we pray for justice. We pray for justice, Lord, for the victims of human trafficking. We pray for justice, Lord, for the lives that have been destroyed by this crime in the earth. Lord, we pray for justice, Father, for those that cannot fight for themselves, Lord, those that have zero recourse and zero ability to do anything. And, Lord, they have many of them, many of them have called out to you in their despair. And they've just called out to you in the only way they know how. And they've just prayed and, and asked, Lord, for you to help them. They prayed, Lord God, and asked, is there anything that can be done? And Lord, we bring all of those prayers before you and we remind you of them this day. In Jesus' name, Father God, we bring them before you. And we pray for justice, Lord. Amen. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen every hand this day, Lord, that fights for those that cannot fight for themselves. We pray, Lord, that you would rise up, Lord God, everything that needs to be risen up at this time to destroy this work of the devil completely, utterly decimated to the root where nothing would be left. Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, as we pray and we bring this before you, Lord, we are asking, Lord God, for your continued intervention. We thank you, Lord, that you have already been moving. But Lord, at this time, Father, we continue to pray in line with your will and your plan and your purpose. In Jesus' name, for you, Lord God, Amen. to resolve this. Amen. For you, God, to resolve this. And I, I am convinced lord that you're lifting up people all the time into awareness who are volunteering and who are trying to get involved in this exposing of the human trafficking and eradicating it from the face of the earth lord i want to pray in jesus name for the strength of these people coming in now that are getting the call that are being awakened by you that are that are shown the problem and are the kind of people and the quality of people that do something about a problem when they see it. Lord, I pray for their encouragement and for their blessing, for their strength and for their protection right now in, in Jesus, Jesus name, Amen. so that they would be able to continue to in every way on television, on radio, on blogs, to keep exposing uh, this evil of human trafficking. And in, as Govinda said, Lord, in all of its terms, that you know every every aspect whether it be baby parts or literal slaves or child soldiers or child labor you know or or or, or um sex trade or other nefarious uses of, of human beings and the human soul however it manifests lord that 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 there would be workers to expose the workers of light your workers lord that you're calling to expose these things to shout these things from the rooftops that the awareness would cover the earth would cover the earth long before 2020 ever comes mm -hmm. lord long before that that date we, it's just an arbitrary date but we were dreaming the impossible lord we're saying father god with your help please help us to eradicate human slavery by 2020 You've inspired us to say something that sounds so audacious, so ridiculous, to overturn thousands and thousands and thousands of years of history in yet but a few years, but we believe you, Lord. We believe you called us to this task today, that you have called us to this decision to go forward with this initiative that, that you touched on Govinda and now the rest of us through Govinda Thank you, Lord, for, mm -hmm. for, for bringing us to this. And thank you for giving us the faith to think so audaciously that somehow the oldest professions of the human trafficking and slavery and contraband and weapons of war and the rest of it would be 
exposed and eradicated, gone, gone from the face of the earth. The people freed as we come into this time, as Govinda said, this time of light, which means to us, because we are the true light, the true light is Christ. The true light is you, Lord. You are the true light, and in you nothing can hide. There is no secret grove, no secret ritual, no secret hall, no secret chamber, no secret group of people anywhere on the face of the earth where their secrets are not now today somehow blasted into the light that all can see, that all know, that none of their secrets are hidden I don't care whether it's 9-11 or the rest of it. It all just seeping into the light more and more to where every one of us knows it's time to throw in the towel. It's time to quit that evil. It's time to stop this human trafficking. It's time to stop all these things, Lord, because you have said it. You have put it in our heart. You gave Govinda a task that seemed to be impossible, but now look. More and more people are saying, no, with you, God, if everything is possible, if you want to do it, Lord, it's going to happen. We are here to help uh, you in that regard, Lord, to bring that end of the really the crux of human suffering. We would like to see, obviously, the end of this sooner rather than later. But Lord, for all the, 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 the strides we've seen since our little podcast has gone out and Govinda's efforts on television and radio out there and others that, that are working with him. I've seen, Lord, your progress. I've seen you do unbelievable things. I've seen exposures of things that I never thought I would see just in the last few months, Lord. Just in the, that, yes, I can see that you could end human trafficking by 2020, Lord. You could. It could it, it's not some far out notion now. It seems that there is momentum now, Lord, because of you. And I just ask you to protect your workers, to protect and anoint these people that you've called to this task, to give your, your soldiers, your ministers, your, uh, your preachers of the word, whatever, to, bring, to give them all insight and give them the words to say and give them the inspiration to carry forth and believe, believe that it is possible to do such things. It's, it's, it's almost as if at first I thought it was like, wanting to sprout wings and fly. Well, you know, I can just believe on that and one day I'll just fly off the roof. Well, this was something different. You said, you brought this to light, Lord. You brought this into Govinda's heart. You brought this into our awareness. You brought all of this to us because you said you are going to do this. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray for, for, for I pray for everyone that is involved. The growing number of people serving you by exposing this and eradicating this evil, no matter where they come from, no matter what their background is, no matter what they're they're be, still being called by you, Lord. In Jesus' name, being called by you, you're calling them all out of every corner of the earth to help to end such suffering as the world has never seen before especially the last 20 or 30 years or so it's been just absolutely horrific lord so i pray for their strength i pray for their resolve i pray for their 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 heads to be clear and i pray for the devil to stay away from them and not not discourage them from going forward not trying to demoralize them or psych them out lord i pray for them to be strong and forthright and uh of your spirit lord in Jesus' name, amen. amen. In Jesus' name. And Father, um, <clears throat> Lord, we also pray right now, Lord. Lord, we know, Father, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're spiritual, Lord, and they have far more power than any weapon in the natural would ever have. And so, Lord, right now, too, Father, my brother and I and my sister, we come before you, Lord, and we also... Um, take up the full armor of God and the full weaponry that we have in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. and that which you've given to us by your spirit. And Lord, we pray, Father, for those that are taking up the call right now. We pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, even as this whole thing began very much um, just like a, a Moses and a stick start, yes. Lord, for a liberation. But Lord, even, Lord, as, as we've now seen um, the attempted responses from the magicians of, of Pharaoh and these attempted attacks and these attempted uh, rebuttals. Lord, even as the time escalated, even as that went forward, Lord, it went from them 
replicating and duplicating, to them just recognizing the hand of God, to them being the very victims of the plagues that were being sent and hiding and running from from Moses, Lord. And you escalated that situation, Father, to, to bring it to the point where there was no recourse for the enemies of God and no recourse for those that would be part of the slaver systems. No recourse, Lord, for them. And Lord, even as we've even seen, Lord, the demonic responses in this time, and we've seen the witchcraft responses in this time, in Jesus' name right now, we speak to all of those things, and we break you. Amen. In Jesus' name, we break your abilities to attack the people of God, to attack those that are working in this area, in this field. We send it all back, all of it, and then some in Jesus' name. We proclaim freedom for everyone. We proclaim a hedge of protection around everyone. We pray a blessing on everyone that would fight for truth, fight for that which is real, fight for freedom, that would be doing that which you have put in front of them to do at this time. And in Jesus' name, we pray that every one of their efforts would be blessed, double, triple, quadruple, ten, hundredfold, over and over, that each person that would put their hand to the plow would see incredible blessing and fruitfulness in their own lives just because they are taking up the call that you have given them in this time. Lord, we pray, Father, there would be many that would be encouraged to be involved and engaged in this work just because they see that you are there in, in being involved in this and they would want to be on your page. They would want to be on your page, even if they don't understand it completely, but they would want to be on your page and on the winning side. And Lord, in Jesus' name, we pray freedom, blessing, protection around every worker, whether it's those that are, are working in law enforcement, whether it's those that are just and, and right-standing judges, whether it's those, Lord, that are aid workers, whether it's those that are praying, whether it's those that are the true ministers of the gospel, whether it's those that are just well-meaning people that are just doing the little bit that they can or even changing their shopping habits, whatever it may be, anyone that has put their heart and their intention towards seeing the end of human trafficking and doing what they can in that respect, we pray that your blessing would be upon their lives and everyone that seeks to keep the bondage remaining and to, to fight against you. Lord, we pray their own destruction, that they would reap what they've sown Amen. right now, yes. and that it would just continue to escalate. For the more that they try to send attacks, the more destruction they would see in their own lives, yes. that there would be no place for them to hide, that there would be no response that they would have, that there would be no rebuttal that they could come up with, that there would be nothing that would protect them, nothing that would save them, nothing that would be there for them to fall back on, that their resources would evaporate underneath their hands and their feet right now, that their, their lucre that they've stored up, thinking that that would be a strong fortress for them, that it would just crumble in this time, that their wealth that they've accumulated at the destruction of lives would crumble at this time, that their health that they think that they have in their bodies would fall apart and they would realize that it's them reaping their own corruption, their own destruction. Father, in Jesus' name instead, Lord, we pray we pray in line with your word. We pray in line with your truth. We pray in line with your plan and purpose. We align ourselves with what your spirit is doing right now. Yes, and Lord. we pray, Father. We pray, Lord, for freedom. It is for freedom that Christ Jesus set us free. It is for Amen. this reason that Christ Jesus was manifest in the earth, to destroy the works of the devil. Lord, in Jesus' name, we speak and we proclaim it right now. And even as this goes out over the airwaves, even as this goes out all over the world, we pray, Lord, Lord, that you would encourage the body of Christ. You would encourage those, Lord, that just are seeking you. We pray that you would encourage those that are willing to do anything in line with this. Lord, let them double, Amen. redouble, triple, quadruple their efforts at this time. Father, we pray protection, blessing, truth. And Lord, for everyone that is a victim right now, Lord, we pray that you would put hope in their hearts. Lord, that they, would, that they would know that they are not forgotten. We pray, Lord God, that there would be liberation, Father, on the horizon, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would, would show, Father, that there's light at the end of this dark, yes, dark tunnel that yes. people have been yes. stuck in. And, Lord, that that yes. light would just grow, that glimmer would grow and, and continue to now go from a glimmer to, to, to a brightness to just an overtaking, blinding light, Lord, that would just overtake the entire thing. Lord, we put it all before you. We know, Lord, that you are in control. And, Father, we are grateful, Lord, grateful 
grateful to be called by your name and to be your children and to be involved in what you're doing at such a time as this. Father, we seal this whole thing up knowing, Lord, that you are with us. And we pray, Lord, completely for the end and the eradication of human trafficking and modern-day slavery. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name.